last time I ate this many calories, I was on a bulk, like a serious heavy bulk over a year ago. So man, we, we got a lot ahead of us today. And this is just only the beginning, but yo, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to another YouTube video. For any of you guys that are new here, my name is Levi. Now today's video, I'm doing another full day of eating. Some of you guys know I'm preparing for a marathon. So I figured, you know what, I might as well show you guys what I'm eating to prepare for this marathon. For breakfast, um, I did change it up, I think, from my prior full day of eating. So now I have avocado toast with three scrambled eggs for breakfast. The reason it's avocado toast, I don't know if you guys heard in my previous video, my buddy Jordan was like, bro, I've been having avocado toast lately. And I was like, dang, that would be honestly so good to just like implement into my morning breakfast. Just because, I don't know, it just sounded good. I was craving it at the time, so I was like, yeah, bet. We also have a banana as well. Some of you guys know I switched from doing apples in the morning to having a banana because apples are more expensive and bananas are much cheaper. That's literally the only reason. And then I also have some protes that I already finished. Literally have a half cup of oatmeal and I mix in a full scoop of whey protein by Transparent Labs. And that is breakfast for you. The total calories and macros will be on the screen for you guys, as always. All right, now every morning I also have some supplementation as well. Now, one of the things that I think I should mention that is very crucial, especially for this marathon prep right here, is this supplement right here. I should probably move the camera a little closer to it. This is joint support, which is essentially made up most of turmeric. Turmeric is really good um, to support your joints and whatnot, so highly recommend if you guys are doing some running, definitely incorporate this. Not even just running, but if you're doing anything that involves um, extraneous movement on your joints, even though I guess you're just doing weightlifting. Um, we have some fish oil right here just to get those healthy fats in. And then we also have some vitamin C that I am throwing all over the place. I'm also a psychopath. So I take all of my vitamins like this, like this. So yeah, just to help you guys sleep at night. What do you mean by that? What, what am I, what am I saying? What, what am I saying? Everything you guys just saw too is my pre-workout meal. It's a pretty large pre-workout meal. And that's why I always suggest you guys before you guys have any meal, wait an hour to an hour and a half or even a little more after your meal to go work out because if you guys don't what's gonna happen is all your blood is in your stomach trying to work your food into your system and so if you go to work out your body is still trying to digest your food you're not gonna have that efficient of a workout because your blood is going to your stomach instead of your muscles for your workout always keep that in mind but now we're gonna go train today we have back and biceps we're pretty sure we're gonna see Rory there so Without further ado, let's get going because if we don't get going now, we're gonna be late. So Transparent Labs dropped this new pre-workout. It's called Retro Candy by Paul Sklar. We got Rory trying it out. I had it this morning. I think it's one of their best flavors. It's their other stuff's pretty good, so. Yeah, well let me see it really quick. It has 200 grams of organic caffeine and then it also has alpha GPC, which is good for focus. Then it also has something else that I like in it. Where is it at? can't even see it why can't I see it oh it's naturally flavored as well so there's no like artificial flavoring at all whatsoever personally thought it was their best flavor for it being naturally flavored and whatnot usually their bulk blacks are the best but I was surprised to see that this flavoring right here is different but it's also better so if you guys want to check it out link will be down in the description my code will give you 10% off definitely recommend it pretty good Think about it, naturally flavored. There's no like. I think I use way too much called. water. Yeah. They're like 10 ounces. Yeah, they only so say I don't have like, like a eight to six true candy flavor, but uh, it's like a sour candy. Out of it is like kind of like Smarties crossbred with like uh, Mentos, but the flat the Mentos. No, no, but not the uh, mint ones. The flavored ones. Because you kind of get it like sour, but you can also tell that it has yeah, like. Yeah, it's kind of like a Smarties. Yeah, I gave it like an eight out of 10, 8.5. It's an eight, especially knowing the organic and just natural flavoring, it's good because yeah. most of them suck like that. But.
why. So this is our post-workout meal. I'm at school right now because I have a test to take today. But this is a great post-workout meal. We got a good amount of carbs from the pasta. Then we also got a good amount of fat, but not too much because you don't want to have too much fat after your workout because it'll slow down di digestion. Um, good amount of protein from this. this is good not only to refuel my body for energy, but it also is good for the energy that I'm going to need later for my run. It's a super dense meal. There's like two servings of pasta in this. Um, I also use like a fattier meat a little bit. Like I said, not too much fat, but it is like 85, 15 ground beef. Some of you guys know I'm training for a marathon right now. Like, I mean, this is kind of what this video is about. And it's just been really hectic. And I'm glad like this upcoming week, I'm finally like, I'm going to take a breather off of some things, maybe even like YouTube to just to like take a step back, regain like my energy and focus because I just feel like lately my focus has been in just like so many different areas. And when your focus is just everywhere, it just exhausts you and just get burnt out. So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this, take this test and bounce and go enjoy my time off. Today we are going to have our snack. Oh, not today, but right now we are also going to have our snack and which bar is it gonna be? I have mysterious flavors, no way, no way. Some of you guys know I love RX bars. I think they're great. I just like that it's minimalistic calories. Like you only get three egg whites, six almonds, four cashews, two dates. I like that. I like simple. And I also have an apple with it. Now the apple you want doesn't really matter. I usually have Fuji. If that's it, Fuji, Fuji, Fuji apple. And then I also will either have that or a cosmic apple. Those are my favorite two apples. I mean, a Granny Smith is good, but gosh dang, they're so dang expensive. I have this every day is just like a snack, just something that I've been incorporating. Um, calories and macros for that will be up on the screen. It's like 330 calories. Just an everyday thing. You guys know it's a staple on my diet. I'm never probably ever going to get rid of it. Um, I just like it. It's something that's easy on the go. I'm not on the go right now, but it's just normally throughout the day I am on the go. And so having that right there helps a lot. is also our pre-run sort of meal. I would probably make like a different, like, I don't know, lunch if I wasn't running. But the reason that it's pancakes and then we also have a yogurt and a banana as well is because I want fast absorbing carbohydrates because I do go for a run within an hour. I always have like a pretty jam-packed schedule. So it's important for me to eat on time. I mentioned that like one of my previous videos, I can't honestly, oh wait, it was the, it was the morning routine video. A lot of what I'm eating right now is just, again, fast digesting carbohydrates along even with the honey, some fat as well, because I needed some sort of slow digestion in there, just so if like I'm going for a longer run, let's say like 10 plus miles, a little more reserves in the tank to carry me through the run. Some of you guys know I was using sugar-free, <coughs> well, I was using sugar-free syrup for a while, and I just had to get rid of that, man. Like, it's, it's literally cancer in a bottle. Like, it's just, it's just chemicals if you think about it because it has no calories in it. So I replaced it with honey. Um, just something I thought I'd let you guys know just because the stuff's cancer to me, I think. I mean, there's so many more things I'm pretty sure I eat throughout that. I'm pretty sure just anything that I eat has can. I, we're all gonna die one day, right? I mean, whatever. What am I saying? This is so negative. So protein pancakes, we have two servings of the Kodiak cakes, um, one yogurt, and then one banana. Again, calories, macros will be on the screen for you guys. We're gonna eat this and then go for our run today. We have a five mile uh, easy pace run as it is Thursday and I'll talk about that more in just a second. All right, so we got a five mile run today. We're just doing a tempo run, easy tempo run. And essentially these easy runs are to give my body a little bit of recovery during the week while still getting the miles in so that we're prepared for the marathon. One thing I haven't made a video on, which I will in the future, but I'm gonna kind of make a comment about it right now, is if you're trying to run and lift at the same time, especially during the day, you need to carve out specific times that you're gonna do that or else you're never gonna be consistent in it. For example, I run at 4 p.m. and I lift at 7.30 a.m. 
and that's just something that works for me. Everything's gonna work differently for you guys. Um, if it was earlier in the fall, um, I'd probably be running a little bit earlier because it gets darker out, because I hate running in the dark. Oh, jeez, okay, that was just a leaf. I have like the biggest fear of bugs. Like I haven't talked about that on this channel too much, but dude, that leaf came flying through. I was like, that's a big bug. Also another thing that these tempo runs do yeah, especially like the longer ones that are easy is they help you to get your I would say aerobic base in check and essentially what that is is just going a long distance and just getting your heart rate used to that distance without going super hard at first um, there's like the 80 20 rule which I've kind of talked about where you do 80% of your training at a low intensity and the other 20% at a high intensity I go pro with me today so we're gonna get out there get this done with should take us around 45 minutes so let's get it Funny because before ever doing like this marathon prep, even after I did my half marathon, I always thought like, I'm never gonna be a good runner. I'm never gonna be that great of a runner. Like I just could never keep a consistent fast mile time. And it's just funny because we always tell ourselves these things, these lies that we just believe without actually even trying. And now that I'm actually running and I'm actually like seriously training for a marathon, I'm starting to find out I might not be the best at, you know, being a runner, but I'm good enough or I'm, getting better I'm getting better and that's what matters to me it's not about being the best but the fact that I was lying to myself and never allowed myself to explore you know my capabilities was keeping me back and it's just insane because I never thought I would be able to run a marathon to be honest it's crazy it's crazy what the human mind can do a little motivational spiel for the day um, I'm gonna go bowling later because I can't this weekend you guys know me I'm an avid bowler um, so yeah yeah, I'll see you guys for dinner before we actually go, though. Now you guys might be wondering, what kind of concoction is this? It's literally like a ham and bean soup sort of kind of thing. That's, I mean, that's what it is. I kind of wanted to take like a little more realistic approach to this full day of eating. Not that my other ones aren't real, but my other ones, I'll make like a dinner that I usually will make if no one's home. And I usually eat with my family, like I've told you guys plenty times. And so this is the meal that my family prepared. Typically my family eats healthy. As some of you guys know, I come from like a background of parents who are really into uh, fitness. They're really into lifting and running. And so all of our meals are really healthy. I mean, this is literally just chopped up pork. And then we got some beans and carrots and some broth. Like that's literally, it's super protein packed. It's got some good carbs in it too. And then yesterday, for example, like we had chicken breast with olive oil and rice. Like we eat really healthy for dinners. So this is the dinner for tonight. So that's what I'm eating. If I was preparing for a bodybuilding show, trust me, my I would not be eating with my family. I didn't the last time that I prepared for my bodybuilding show. I had like a meal of depression. That's what I had. I literally felt like I was eating dog food. But then again, there's people in other countries that would die for that meal. So can't really complain too much, right? So yeah. This is it for dinner. The total calories and macros for this will be up on the screen. Again, it's gonna be kind of like a guesstimate, but I always eat around, if I'm correct, like 800 to 1,000 calories every single time for dinner. I'm gonna eat this, then I'm gonna go bowling, and we're still not done with the full day of eating because there's a lot of calories to eat when you're running a marathon or training for a marathon. Are you serious? A few moments later. This thing just ran out of battery. Well, after 5,000 years of trying to just, I don't know, get the last little bit of the battery out of that for getting it. It's not a whisk. My brain is not working right now. Now, before I go to bed, I have some protein. And the reason I have some protein now is because if I try to input this protein, let's say, in a dinner, lunch, breakfast, or anywhere else, your body can only break down so much protein per sitting. Yes, some people's bodies break down more than others, but I have on average like 40 grams of protein almost with every single meal. And if we're going based on the average, I think it's like only 30 to 40 grams like per hour can be broken down. So I can't really add too much more. So we're having some tonight right before we go to bed. My therapist also recommended me to eat a little protein before bed. It helps with like your cortisol levels when you wake up in the morning so that you don't feel um, as stressed out as some of you guys may do. I have to monitor my mental health because I have, and it, uh, it's not an illness, it's a disorder. Some of you guys may know. Um, and so just having my cortisol 
low in the morning helps me personally a lot. So we're having one scoop of whey by Transparent Labs with whole milk, and then we're having two chicken breast tenders that I cooked up earlier this week. All right, my hair also just looks all sorts of jacked up. Hey man, I'm not trying to be perfect. I'm not here to do that, but I also don't have my phone on me, so I can't tell you guys the total calories. If I'm correct, it's around 4,300, 4, I believe, or 4,500, somewhere in that range. And all the macros, again, everything will be on the screen for you guys to look at in case you guys want to follow it per why can't I think per macro and per amount of calories? But yeah, man, we're taking another step in the right direction or we're just getting another day done with with this marathon prep. It's It's been tough, man. It has been tough. I think it's like, again, I, I think I may have mentioned this. It wasn't the training that's been the hardest. It's just been everything else on top of that. But that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys did, be sure to give a like. If you guys are new here, do not forget to press that subscribe button. Because guess what? You know what we'll be like. And as always, that's going to do it for love. The sky is the limit. And I'll see you guys in the next one.